I think Sajid Javid has done one of the most disgraceful things I've ever witnessed as a journalist. Because we've asked what he meant by no-go areas. We very specifically said, where are the no-go areas? We also asked whether or not he would henceforth be referring to the ethnicity of all other criminals that he cared to comment on. But that question there, there will be no no-go areas. We asked him to tell us what he was referring to, which bits of this country, in the context of Asian paedophiles, which is what the tweet is about, which bits of this country are no-go areas. Now, I'm tempted to ask you what you think he could possibly have said in response, and I must confess I'm surprised they have responded. I don't know what the rules are or the regulations are, but if I saw my name and this question in my inbox, I'd just close my eyes and hope it went away. And do you know what? We're so under-resourced on this program, it might have done. Just a question of whether Beth and I remembered to put in the follow-up. But what, what possible answer could he give to that that would lead me to conclude that this is one of the most disgraceful things I've ever witnessed a politician of this stature, of this status, doing in all the years I've done this job? There will be no no-go areas. What do you think he's just claimed in a response to my inquiry? Go and have a guess. Have a think. There will be no no-go areas, says the Home Secretary. Would you mind giving me a quick pointer on where these no-go areas currently are? Home Secretary, love James. They're trying to tell us today he didn't mean geographically. These areas he was referring to aren't actually places or spaces. They're something more theoretical or nebulous. So where are these no-go areas? Oh, he didn't mean geographically areas that you can't actually go. He meant things that aren't areas where you can't actually go because they're not areas at all. But you can't go there to these places that aren't places that you can't go to. What, 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 what no-go area? Oh, no, not geographically. That is astonishing. I'll read you the whole tweet. These sick Asian paedophiles are finally facing justice. Finally. And we've been reporting on these people since 2011 on this program. What's quite interesting, and again, it's very hard to know the difference between the people who are being led by the nose and the people who've chosen deliberately to, to, to be ignorant. What's very interesting with these um, grooming gangs is that people who don't regularly follow the news have been very shocked to discover their existence. And these people are having their shock um, exploited and used by the worst sort of individuals to turn it into something that it isn't. But if you didn't follow the news and you suddenly learnt about these criminals, you would be disgusted and shocked and very susceptible to, to the arguments about cover-ups and similar. But if you do follow the news, on this programme, for example, you would know that these issues have been reported and covered for the best part of a decade. In many ways, they've received more attention than comparable crimes committed by people of different backgrounds and ethnicities. So, these sick Asian paedophiles are finally facing justice. I think the first instance I reported on this programme was seven years ago, but the Home Secretary has chosen to say, finally. I want to commend the bravery of the victims. Goes without saying. For too long they were ignored. It's not really what came out in court in Huddersfield, actually. It might apply to some of the other instances or cases that have been concluded with convictions, finally facing justice? Hang on a minute. And then there will be, not on my watch, he adds, because he wants to sound tough. It's the verbal equivalent of that weird stance they do, you know, when they got taught by a body language expert to stand as if they were, I don't know, like really, really badly constipated. So that's the verbal, not on my watch. But then this line here, there will be no no-go areas. That's what made my ears prick up, actually. I thought the Asian bit in it was... Sad, but he's perfectly insulated against the accusation of um, appealing to a, a sort of racist undercurrent by dint of the fact that he's Asian himself. So you're not going to land any punches on him there. He knows what he's doing. Of course he does. But there will be no no-go areas. So we phone the Home Office and we say, where are these no-go areas? Where are these places we can't go? And they come back to us and say, 
Oh, he didn't mean geographically. It's the word they've used. And if there has been an example of a politician treating the public with utter, utter derision and contempt that is more stark than this one, a politician of this stature, Boris Johnson must have done something worse. But off the top of my head, I can't actually think of it. There will be no no-go areas. Where are the no-go areas? Oh, they're not actually areas where you can't go. They're just sort of other things. He wasn't referring to geographical areas where people can't go. He was referring to something completely different. I'm still not sure what. But they're definitely completely different. And that is your Home Secretary. <laughs>